a little over a year ago, I lived in Siberia. I was just an ordinary guy, finished my college, and trying to do something at the internet as everyone does these days. Today, I run an international startup with eight people plus me. It's presented in Switzerland, Russia, and uh, United States. We raised half a million dollars in funding, and I'm uh, just going to tell you a short story of how that happened. The worst part about raising money is that it, you have to actually uh, listen to your investors and advisors and stuff, and then they like you have to promote something at TED, and you know we all know that there's no way I'm doing that. Uh, it all started with this short. Um, seriously. <laughs> Uh, before that, I convinced the founder of the LeWeb conference in Paris, which is the biggest tech event there, to give me a free ticket just because I'm from Siberia and there is nothing there and I'm so cool. Then we, we figured that we had to do something with that ticket. We printed this shirt and we built the prototype of the product. This shirt says that I have a working prototype and I'm looking for VC. Then I showed up at the conference with this shirt and then, well, we did a little more preparation we actually did this image before going to the conference, so I dressed up like I would look like at the conference. And we, we put this fake background and then uploaded that online so if the people saw that before I'm actually at the conference, they would actually recognize me easier on the conference. So we built the prototype, I showed up with the shirt, and then it did work. I, um, I got featured by that same founder at the conference on stage, and I got to pitch for a minute, and I met pretty much all the investors at this huge conference, and three days later I was in Zurich, and four months later we got this amount of money for, for the company. And this is me presenting at that same conference on stage this year. Trick number two, a hat. <laughs> it was a TechCrunch disruptive, someone's familiar with the industry, this fall, and we attended that as a startup alley company. We were chosen to be finalists before, but American government is kind of complicated on visas, so we skip to the next one. So I was wearing this hat through the conference, and it turned out to be such a great identity tool. So I got to know pretty much everybody. It got me featured on TechCrunch five times through that same conference. How much of a content is generated through those like, three days? And I was there literally five times. And it did bring us the TechCrunch Audience Choice Awards, which meant we get to be selected out of 50 startups. There's just like one out of 50, and then you go to finalists, and then again on stage. But it all happens not because of the startup, it all happens just because of that hat, because there is no clear way that 3,000 people would actually validate 50 startups and then choose the best one. So they pick the one which stand out more. How does that all work? There is always people who want something, like, you know, hungry guys from Siberia. There is uh, most likely a person who actually can give it to hungry people. Maybe, you know, dean at the university, customers, you name it, investors, whoever they are. Usually these people are really overwhelmed with the attention of these crazy people running around and asking them for something, so they create some kind of filters to figure out best people out of that crowd. Then people try to attend those filters and a lot of them fail and a couple of them succeed. So if you do know that you're most likely not the best one out of all that crowd, there's a pretty slight chance that you would actually succeed. Why don't you, instead of going through these filters which have been set up for you, like the startup competition, you know, for participation and stuff, why don't you identify those filters and go around them? And that's what I did with the shirt, with the hat. I mean, I, I got the competition and I unfairly participated in that and it did work. I mean, normally you would have to go to VCs, meetings, and pitch them. So I just got all the VCs, I grabbed their attention, and made them want to invest in me, not me pitching them. There is a great example of when the guy got a, his dream job by putting the Google ads, targeting the CEO of the dream job company, and then he got noticed, and he actually got a job. So if you do want to be a great artist, well-known artist, don't participate in this artist contest to build a, a piece of art on like flotation device in front of a Pure 39 and then you, you get somewhat noticed. Here's some tips. First one, is, there are three of them. First one is never play by the rules. The second, impress the decision maker. And the third one, never play by the rules.